Radio.net, your concert station. That's Paige Lewis. The new single is called Feels Like Home, and she's going to be part of Ameritopia Fest right here in Uvalde County this weekend, Friday and Saturday, June 28th and 29th at the Blue Flame, I believe it's called, in Utopia, Texas. Uh, it's going to be just, I mean, so many artists, like like two or three dozen artists performing over the weekend, and one of them is Paige Lewis, and to tell us all about it, she's on the phone right now. Paige Lewis, welcome back. Hey, thanks, Robert. Hey, wow. So uh, when's the last time I saw you? Was it one of the award shows? I believe so. Yeah, what was what was the most recent one? In Arlington? Yeah, yeah, the TCMAs. Uh, no, the T3Rs, yes. Yeah, in Arlington. Um, yes, yes. Yeah, did you make it around to our table? We were swamped that day. I think you did. I can't remember. I think that I did. Yeah. It was kind of a blur because it was so busy so, in that area. But yeah. I believe, I know I saw you. Yes, yeah, no, I, I remember now. <laughs> I, I absolutely remember talking to you now. So, um, yeah. Yeah, so those are always fun. And it'll be cool to have you actually here back in Uvalde County. I don't know, when you booked this thing in Utopia, did you realize that you were coming back to Uvalde essentially? I, I realized I was in the general area, but I, I didn't realize I'd have the honor of talking to you again. About it. <laughs> oh, oh, you're so sweet. You're so kind. Uh, that's yes, going to get you yes. everywhere. But yeah, yeah, Utopia is a part of Uvalde County, so naturally we're going to be a part of uh, helping out with that. And uh, we're looking forward to having you back around uh, these parts, as they say. For sure. So you're um, going to be on the opening night, which is Friday, June 28th, this Friday. And uh, now I'm looking at the schedule and it says that um, your name is shared with Pam Ross, Jesse Lee, and Tressy Seegers. Is it kind of a song swap type of uh, format? Yes, it's, that seems to be the case. It okay. changed a few times, um, like since I've been initially booked this. But uh-huh. um, we are going to be doing a swap. And I actually I have a gig in Houston Friday night, so I had to be like the early, early. <laughs> I think we're the first like opening act of the whole weekend, which is exciting. It'll be fun. Oh so, yeah, no, yeah. It says here on the schedule. On noon. Yeah. yeah, Friday, June twenty eighth at noon. Yeah, very cool. So yeah. let's talk about these other artists before we talk about you, uh, Pam, Jesse, and Tressy. Uh, do you know any of them? Do you, are any of them running buddies? I have never met any of them, oh, but I've heard of all of them. That should make yeah. an interesting song swap, huh? <laughs> yeah, it should be fun. It'll be cool. Um, and, and so what, what do you think about that format? For, for those who don't know, a song swap is basically when a couple of different artists get up on a stage and, you know, on stools. It's pretty casual. And you just kind of go back and forth, right? Just uh, kind of alternate songs and even maybe collaborate if uh, if that's something you guys are uh, willing to or capable of doing. What do you think about that that format in general? Yeah, you know, I used to actually not really like it very much, but I've got <laughs> to be totally <laughs> honest. But I... In the last couple of years, I've done quite a few of them, and it's really grown on me. I feel like it's, uh, you know, it, it, it depends on who the, who you're sharing the stage with, you sure, know, of yeah. course. But I, I find it interesting to kind of just talk back and forth and learn about the songs, and it's, it's a more relaxed way to perform, um, and I've enjoyed it quite a bit. So I'm, I'm looking forward to it. You kind of, and it, you know, even having not met some of the people I'm up there with, that almost makes it better because you can kind of, ask some questions that even the audience might not know. And, oh, yeah. you know, I, I think it opens it up a lot. So Yeah, you can ask, uh, act as a moderator of sorts to kind of, you know, sure. uh, warm things up a little bit. You know, and, and I think you and I have similar backgrounds in a sense that, you know, you've been doing Texas country specifically here for a minute now, but you come from more of a pop and uh, gospel background, whereas I come from a rock right. background. Well, when I got into Texas country and Red Dirt, I didn't know what a song swap was. I was like, "What are these? Right. What are these fools doing up here?" You know. What? Yeah. And so it, it took a. It was a learning curve for me to kind of appreciate what it's all about myself. So cool. Same. Yeah. <laughs> definitely. Well, let's let's talk about the song. We just played your latest single, uh, "Feels Like Home." Now, if I'm not mistaken, this is the fourth single off the album "Under the Texas Sky." Is it not? That's correct. Wow. Yeah. So, so you, you know, you, you got you got deep you, um, with the record. So obviously, you know, it's uh, the investment is paying off for you with Under the Texas Sky. And I know that you're you're working on a new record. But let's go ahead and talk about. First of all, let's just talk about Feels Like Home, the song we just played. Um, tell us about it. You know, you wrote it, inspiration, all that stuff. Yeah. So it's one of my favorites off the album, and it's really been got you know has been really well received in general and I've been playing this, this album for, you know, a good amount of time now live. Um, but yeah, you know, I mean, it, if you listen to it, it, it's pretty self-explanatory, but it's just kind of about finding someone or, or some people or anything that just makes you feel, um, relaxed. And like, I think some of the words talk about, you know, 
the world out there is always going and it's fast paced and all this stuff and just the importance of finding um finding someone that that helps you feel like you're just at home you know <laughs> and and it was fun to write because I thought of the idea initially and then it was I just got to brainstorm like what are all the things that that make someone feel like they're comfortable and at home and so some of the lyrics are like you know walking through the door and taking off your shoes or laying in the grass looking at the stars and it was just it was fun to fill in those gaps of all the things that describe what home feels like it's interesting because your last single under the texas sky almost kind of does that evokes it's almost a list of cool things about texas sure. so uh yeah you're checking off all yeah. the boxes aren't you <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying. Well, that's that's so cool. I mean, and like I said, it's it's good to know that you know the album is deep. You know, you got four, uh, you got four singles on the radio on it. Um, tell me now that you're an old pro as far as releasing music to Texas radio and kind of you know doing the Texas region circuit. Um, what have you learned, and uh, what, what's the takeaway uh, since you're pretty much? Uh, I, I'm assuming this is the final single off the off that under the Texas Sky album. And then you'll be moving towards a new record. But you know, correct me if yes. I'm wrong. Yes, that is true. And we, we initially we were just going to do three off this album, but decided to just do a fourth because the songs were there, first of all, and just to kind of give me some time to continue to promote this album, which I've worked really hard on. And, I'm, you know, just there's no reason. It just came out in November. Mm. So even though we've been releasing singles since the previous fe- February, <laughs> it's right. finally just now, like, out. So it's exciting. Um yeah. What, so the question was, what? What have, what have I learned? Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, what, what's that? What, what, you know, give me the base of the experience, because like I said, I know you come from a gospel background, and you kind of all lead back and forth. We talked about you know your story about you know back and forth to California and whatnot, but you know this, right. I believe, this is your first true effort into the kind of Texas red dirt kind of genre, and you know from from releasing that very first single, a pretty good time back, you know, a while back to like you know mm-hmm. force, you know. Fourth single off off the new album. Um, what's the takeaway so far? You got yeah. So I I mean I think I'm I'm very like proud of everything that we've done, and I think that it um, has all worked towards where I am now, which is I've been playing a lot more shows that are oriented towards the audience I'm trying to reach. I've you know gotten on things such as the Meritopia Fest, and um, I'm just found out I'm doing a tour this fall with Kenpo and uh, Jarrett Ray Reddick, That's and right. just things that are like. I'm feeling a lot more immersed in like the scene and getting some opportunities that I think I wouldn't have had, you know, a year and a half or two years ago. And so, um, as far as that goes, I'm I'm super excited about the way things have gone and I've met a lot of great people and just kind of feel, um, you know, even more confident than I did a year ago as far as that this is the path that, you know, I should be on and it's exciting. Well, we're excited for you. Again, we got Paige Lewis on the phone right now, and uh, she's performing this Friday noon, early show, um, along with uh, Pam Ross, Jesse Lee, and Tracy Seegers, kind of a uh, song swap format, uh, kicking off a Maritopia Fest in Utopia at the Blue Flame, and you can get those tickets at AmeritopiaFest.com or continue to listen right here on UvaldiRadio.net to win those free tickets. Now, uh, Paige, you know, like I said, you know, you've come a long way in just a short time with your first, you know, official Texas uh, release and uh, we're honored to, to you know call you a friend. Uh, what's in the future? Let's talk about it. I think I saw you are uh, getting funds for the new record together. Tell me what's going on. What material do you already have? Or give us an ETA. Tell me about new stuff. What's going on? Sure. Yeah. So we just a month a month or so ago completed a fundraising campaign for a new album. We raised like twenty seven thousand dollars. Just incredible support from people out there. Um, so the 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 plan for that is that this fall, I think August, September, we haven't put the dates in the studio schedule yet, but we're going to be going back in and doing a full album again, um, which is awesome. So I think it's going to come out to about nine or 10 songs. We have to kind of sit down with that, but um, it'll be my same band that did the last album. They, they play live with me now. And um, so they'll be coming back in and we'll just kind of, look at a timeline for releasing, but we'll probably start doing, you know, we'll have another single to radio sometime, you know, early next year probably, and just kind of move forward with all that. Uh, the song, song wise, you know, I'm, I write all my own stuff, so I'm, I'm pretty much constantly writing and, um, I have some songs that I've been working on over the last couple of years. And then of course I'm sort of a, 
down to the last minute writer. So <laughs> I've got all these, you know, kind of cool ideas that I'm coming up with now that I know that I'll be going in soon. So we'll see what we'll see what happens in the next couple months and as far as songs. But uh, I love the ones I have so far. So it's looking good. <laughs> so so Paige, do you, do you ever slow down? It seems like you're you're pretty much always going. Um, do you, do you, it's it is summer. Have you had a chance to take a break? Uh, you have a summer vacation planned? Uh, how, how do you how, how does leisure time fit into all this? Yeah, you know, I I try very hard to make an effort for that because I do tend to get very like you know like crazy about just performance and <laughs> keeping things moving. But I have to say, I just went with my family to Sicily for like two weeks. Wow. I got back like less than a week ago. <laughs> so that was a wonderful step away. Like I, I, before I left, I scheduled all my social media posts so I didn't have to like think about it. And I really got to unplug and that's good for my soul. So I was <laughs> okay, okay. grateful to do that. That sounds great, but did you end up playing any shows out there? <laughs> I Be honest. No, I didn't. Oh, you didn't? I did. I didn't. Um, it was. I didn't. First of all, because I didn't ring my guitar because it was like a million different plane. Yeah. You know, it was too much to travel with that. But you know, there there may have been a little singing and dancing at the place we stayed. Okay. But it wasn't. It wasn't an official show, which honestly felt it felt great. That's and fantastic. now I'm I'm ready to get back at it for sure. Well, we're excited for all the stuff you have coming up in the future. Again, we got Paige Lewis on the phone. She's performing, kicking off Ameritopia Fest in Utopia uh, this Friday at noon. So if you want to catch her, get out there early. And um, I guess Paige, we're gonna do another song, and we'll let you go. But we got to do the Karen song because I know that you know. <laughs> t- tell me, do you have a love hate relationship with the Karen song yet? Because you know it, it's it's kind of got that novelty feel to it, but it's a really cool sure. song. Do you ever get tired of people? <laughs> loving it and requesting it <laughs> you know there's been a couple times when i'm like oh my god i like mainly in, in front of audiences that i feel like some people might not appreciate it because that does happen <laughs> but i'm like whatever um no i, I love it play it let's do it <laughs> <laughs> all right we'll give a quick plug the plug the website social media all that stuff first yeah so instagram at the page lewis facebook is page lewis music official and my main website with my show schedule and a bunch of stuff is thepage.com. Very good. Find Paige Lewis online and see her live at Ameritopia Fest this Friday afternoon at noon. Here's manager, the Karen song. It's Paige Lewis on UvalteRadio.net, your concert station. Thank you, Paige. We love you. Thank you.